Good morning, dear children. So back to the class. So we were yesterday we were seeing the same lesson the hitchhiker, and we have completed the two parts. How the they they escaped from the policeman. Escape means they have paid the they have given they did not escape they have given all the details. Then after that they have moved from there or the policeman left them and told them that they should come to the. Uh, station, otherwise they will be in the prison. So then, after the policeman going, they started to move. So when they were moving, then the passenger is asking, so uh, so what you will be going to do? Then the uh, uh, governor, the writer said, directly I will go to London and I will speak to the lawyer who is. Then I will make sure that I am. Then finally he said, Are you sure of that? I asked him, Are you sure that you will be safe? I am positive, he answered. They can take you, take your license away and they can give you Miss Vipi big fine. But but that all be the end of it. So they will be giving you the fine, they will uh, take your license and they will give you a big fine that will be last. I felt so something he uh, then he said uh, the writer also said that yes it will be the end. By the way, I said, why did you lie to him? So he told him. The writer said, whatever it happened, you leave. Now tell me why you have lied to the policeman. Then he said, what I lied? Where you felt that I have lied to the policeman? The passenger put a given back question to him. Well, when did you feel? How did you feel? Why you felt like that? I have lied to him. Then he said, you have told that you have a very... Uh, your job is very different, but you told him that you are just a carrier uh, symmetry. You carry the up uh, all these things. Here. You have told all the nonsense that is not real. So I am. And then he said that time it is not need. Uh, it is not needed to tell all the details to the prop. So uh, whomever the policeman, whatever they are coming, no need to tell all our details. It is not. Then uh, immediately the writer said. Are you ashamed of your job that you cannot tell others what is the reason? Then immediately the hitchhiker passenger got in it. Why I have to be ashamed and why I, you want to know so much? Then he told you writers are very like a fire crack crackers. How the crackers start firing exactly you are. Once you start asking questions, this there is no end for the writers. Why are you uh, ex uh, too excited? Uh, excitement you have and you go on asking the questions that the habit the writer has he said then while well, listening of all this the writer kept quiet then finally uh, he took from his pocket so uh, finally after this thing the writer also kept quiet and he started to drive his car then passenger took from his pocket tobacco means cigarette then he took, uh, you fire it and he started to, uh, in the hands, he is rolling uh, in one finger to other finger and nicely he is smoking there. Then seeing that, the writer said, your style of uh, rolling the cigarette is very nice. Your fingers, on, on your fingers you are just rolling the cigarette one finger to other finger. That is, looks very fantastic, very good. Then seeing that, he felt very happy. So, then he was going on. Then it's because of, because I have got fantastic fingers. He told, because all that is happening, because I have very uh, fantastic fingers. These fingers of mine, he said, holding up both hands high in point of him. So just he is keeping both hands fingers and he is looking at the fingers and telling, my fingers are both hands fingers. I have such a beautiful fantastic fingers. Huh? With these fingers, I can do anything. I are very quicker and clever than fingers of the best piano player in the world. So the piano player, why he has, why the person who is playing the piano, fingers will be moving very fast. They move the fingers while playing the piano. So he said, world best, more than the piano is, world best piano is, more than his fingers, my fingers are best, he said. I glanced at his fingers. They are so beautiful, shaped, so slim and long and 
neglect. So when the writer also looked at his finger, really the fingers are very slim, beautiful, very sharp, very good. And uh, when he sees his body, it is the fingers are totally different of him. The body part, the up to bottom he is looking in different way, and his fingers are looking in different way. Seeing all that, um, yes, you have amazing fingers, very beautiful. He said, "You are." So then finally. He was taken to a car. Means then he started to speak about him. When the passengers started to speak about him, then he kept quiet and he slowly he started to drive the car so that he can continue on driving. Suddenly, my passenger was holding up a black leather belt in his hand. So one black leather belt he is holding in his hand and he was just showing to the uh, writer. Ever seen this before? He asked. The belt had a breast block of unusual design. So very different design. Nobody has like that belt that he held in his hand. And have you seen like this belt before anywhere? Then immediately I reached down and left. Felt for my belt. So he started to search for his belt when he said like that. It was gone. You mean uh, you mean you took it off me? while you have been driving along so when i was driving a car have you taken from me how did you take how uh, i did not feel that you were taking the belt from me that's impossible i said uh, i did not have seen you doing this means i have not seen you doing this when did you take how oh, but you don't uh, so but where you are you cannot realize also and how you will catch me he dropped the belt on his lap and now almost there was a brown shoeless. So again he has taken the one more thing. That is uh, the driver's shoeless. So that also very sharp, very shiny one shoeless. So that also he has taken. Good uh, name I said. Means how well you are taking without my knowledge. I am not even knowing that you are taking from me. First he has taken his belt from his a uh, pant. Then after that, he has removed his shoelace without his knowledge. Then how it happened? He said. Then he told that is all magic of my beautiful fingers. I can take out without any. Then you have never so nothing. He said probably means such a things. What I am doing, you have never seen because that much beautiful fingers, fantastic fingers I have. Then again he was. What is the time? He asked. Passenger asked. When he asked, then when he was looking for his watch, he lost his watch. That also, uh, that he said, uh, my slave to look at the watch on my breast. It was known that he held out his hand and there was my watch lying in his palm. So just it is laying on his palm, then his watch also is there. Then now, Nice bit of stuff. This he said. So, then after that, he told, it is very nice of that very different design it has. Very good, he said. Uh, superior quality. Uh, 18 cart golden. So, means very gold one and super quality. Superior quality, he said. Easy to sell. It is never any trouble getting rid of quality goods. So, he said, it is very rare we get the quality goods. It is very good and very nice, he said. I did like it back. So, if you don't mind, I said rather look. It means he is told, uh, can I ask you something? If you are not going to feel bad, then I can ask you, he said. Then he told, okay, you can try, you can ask me. Then he placed the watch carefully on the leather. Try it in front of me. I did not... Uh, Nick anything. So he told, I did not take anything, so I am giving you back just you take it, he said. Then finally, from you, governor, he said, you have my pair, you are giving me a lift. I am glad to hear it, I said. So then he told, you are my, uh, I, am, I am very grateful to you, the governor, because you are giving me lift. Nobody gives me lift. Means very fast you won't get the lift. But as you have seen me, immediately you stop the car. So you, I am always very glad to you. Then all I am doing is a answer. Your question. He went on. You asked me 
what did for a living i am shown you uh, i have shown you means you have asked me that what i am doing for all that only i have taken your things i have shown you what work i am doing so you are a pick pocket i said then immediately the writer the governor said so you are a pick pocket means you are a uh, thief is it then i don't like that word he answered it is a vulgar word means vulgar means what we can say What's memory got to do with that? 
I asked. It's written down in his book, isn't it? So he told, you are telling that he has written all my details. That is why you are telling that I am in trouble. Yes, governor, it is. But the troubles have lost. Both books are one with me. One with my name in it and one and one with yours. So he told, is it that names he has taken from his pocket and he showed that these two books are there. One is with, uh, in my name and other one is in his name. Is it that books you were talking about? In the long delighted fingers of his right hand, the man was holding up the trouble, the two books he had taken from the policeman's pocket. So, the finger smith has taken the whatever the fine the policeman has taken, uh, written and uh, kept in his pocket. So, the both books he has taken and kept in his pocket. Because he is a finger smith, he can take the things without their knowledge. So, then he told, these books, about these books only you are speaking. How can he write, how can he check without the details? He doesn't know our details because the books are with me. Then how will uh, how it will happen? Uh, whom they will search? With what details they will search? So finally this story was ended. I hope you have enjoyed the story and heard. Uh, so you also read one so that it will be very interesting story. Then you also will understand it more clearly. I hope you have enjoyed the lesson. 